So, right, before I start the video, I just want to say, um, please bear in mind there might be some colourful language used in some parts of it. Um, it's literally just a slip of a tongue, it's not, it's not anything bad, um, but there is a, a little bit in there, um, which is understandable, you know, three lads away on holiday. There's going to be some language there, isn't there? Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, uh, just be aware please um, and also at the end of the video there will be a slideshow of some of the photography that I've done um, be nice if you could stay on and watch that that'd be that'd be great um, but other than that thanks for tuning in let's get the video going cheers markers hope you enjoy Morning muckers! <laughs> Here we are, fucking started our photography trip. We got Shane in the back there. Oh. <laughs> Still half asleep. We got Tim. Asleep. Asleep, yeah, even though he's driving, he was still asleep. But quick McDonald's stop, bit of coffee, bite to eat, and crack on. Yes. It's all of what, four o'clock in the morning? Three o'clock so, in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. Four, half past four in the morning. Either or either. Close to it. But anyway, yeah. So on our way up to Snowdonia on our photography trip. Gonna go and see a mountain goat. Yeah, shame was to hump a mountain goat. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna say no more on that. Um but yeah, other than that guys, I'll catch you later on when we're a bit further up. Cheers, muckers. Oh dear. Well muckers. We're uh, 70 miles away from our destination, but we couldn't help but stop at this gorgeous place um, for a quick break. I'll spin you around and show you. Look at this, just as the sun, sun is rising. Isn't that beautiful? I can't pronounce the name of the lake, but I will put it in here in the description somewhere. That buzzing you can probably hear is Shane there, he's got uh, got his drone up. Just taking some uh, some shots from up there. But isn't that beautiful? That fog rolling up over the over the hill there, off of the lake. Isn't that gorgeous? I tell you what, I always thought that we were lucky in Somerset with the views and that we've got. But oh my God, this up here is something else. Beautiful. Anyway. We're going to crack on, have a cup of coffee. Fucking shivering, man. <laughs> Tim's cold. <laughs> so we're going to get back in the car and do the other 70 miles to our journey, of our journey. Catch you guys in a bit. Are you muckers? So here we are. This is where our base is for the night tonight. This bay behind me here is Cardigan Bay. It's all part of Cardigan Bay. And those, that there, in the background, all along here, and these peaks here, this is Snowdon, Snowdon? <laughs> Snowdonia National Park. That's where we'll be doing a lot of our photography over this weekend. I might even get a little bit down here, a little bit of uh, nice fancy photography down around here bit of the uh fine art photography but yeah i'll spin you Jim around Tim. <laughs> These fucking YouTubers, eh, Tim? but yeah this <laughs> is what we are gonna be climbing tomorrow the snow down here actually isn't there it's behind these peaks you can't actually see it because of the cloud cover at the minute 
but it's a little bit higher than these so but yeah can't wait everything's looking good come down here for a bit of fine art photography along these I think sometimes over the weekend before we go on but yeah what a beautiful place absolutely gorgeous anyway I'm off for a bit of grub and we're going to the pub for a couple before we uh, get an early night we've got an early start tomorrow morning and uh, a bit of a trek so catch you guys later on Three markers. Here we are, snow down here. Cold, wet, minging. Oh, man, it's bloody lovely. Just set up here at Ogden. What's it called, Shane? Ogden's? Ogwins. Og Ogwins. Ogwins Cottage, apparently. Just on the lake here. Just chucking it down there, look. So I'm going to spin you around and quickly show you what we're doing in a minute and then uh, pack my gear up, pack my camera away. <laughs> See you in a bit. So this is where we're at. One of the stops that we're making. We just set up on Ogwin's cottage there. Should make a nice picture once the traffic's gone by. So... Right, I'll get back to you in a bit. Tim got you in it. <laughs> there you go, Tim. Yeah, what a flipping place, I tell you. Unreal. It's hard on the camera to get the perspective of the place, it's massive. And this is only a small portion of it. Beautiful place. Yeah, that's Mooch on. Look how moody that cloud is now, Shane, over there. Brilliant. That's what I mean, it's just about Wow. I'm mega, mega happy with that image. The sun through there, the light just cracked, just perfect. You know, I'm really, really happy with that. Um, I'll show you later on. But I've taken it on my iPhone as well. I've got the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And apparently the camera on that is like all flipping, singing and dancing. And I tell you what, it's a bloody good comparison. Obviously it's not gonna be anywhere near what DLSR can do, like a proper camera can do. But it's, I'm gonna put the, the images side by side and I'll show you, it's, oh, it's great. It's doing a great job and uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. So it's a little bit of a, a camera comparison, so to speak, with my phone, um, with the iPhone light. But yeah, what day, what day so far. And here comes the bloody rain again, I tell you. The rain comes fast and hard. It's awesome up here. The weather, it's like its own little ecosystem up here. It is unbelievable. Anyway, I'll spin you around in a minute. We're going to move on to the next spot. Just following Shane, don't know where I'm going. <laughs> so, right, catch you guys in a bit. Next challenge. Down over these waterfalls, there's like a waterfall that drops down over there. We've got to try and climb our way around there to get to it. What a place. All right, catch you in a bit. Wow. 
This place is unreal. The weather is just one minute you're soaking wet and bang. Then the sun's out, bang, the wind's blowing a girl. Ah, oh, it's crazy. Can't make his mind up what it's doing. But I tell you what, what a place. Look at this. I'm just following this waterfall up. Oh, it's hard work, man. I'm not the fittest either. I'm just following this waterfall up though. And hopefully up near there, I believe there's a, a lake type thing. If you look there, hang on, where are we? On the camera. There somewhere, there's a waterfall coming down through the, the rocks. So uh, that's the plan. So, but yeah, what a place. Right, I'm gonna crack on to a bit more. Catch you in a bit. Got a mate with me, look. <laughs> He's following me all up. <laughs> crazy, absolutely crazy. Still not far now. Right, catch you in a bit. Oh, this is crazy. But hopefully, this climb's mad, mate. Hopefully this, uh, where we're going now, is gonna hold the image that we think's up here. So, here's to hoping we're on a bit more of a flat level now, even though we're quite a way up. A little bit of a respite on a bit of flat ground. But, as you can see from there, it ain't gonna be flat for long. Slowly but surely, we're getting there though. My brother's doing well, considering he's got a dodgy leg. He's uh, dodgy back, sorry, he's doing well. So, yeah. And Tim has decided to go up, a bit further up that ridge there. He's not far from us, he's only literally 100 meters from us, I suppose. He just wanted to poke his head above that ridge there and see if what we're looking for is there. But he hasn't shouted yet, so I'm assuming it's not. So, right, I'll catch you in a bit. Right, well, here we are. We found what we were looking for. Look at that. Beautiful place, beautiful place. So I'm currently set up. I've got a picture in mind, an image in mind. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'll tweet you through it. So, this is what I've got in mind. So, I'm currently at ISO 100. Literally a little dot over, uh, underexposed. F11, shutter speed, it's 120F. So that's the settings I'm using currently at 10 mil now what I'm aiming for is like a zigzaggy type effect so we're using this line here to come into the middle of the, the image and then we're shooting back off up that way and then back across here to complete the image. If you kind of understand what I'm on about. And there it is. Should be nice, got the fog rolling across the top. Yeah, happy with that. I know what I'm chatting on about. I don't know if anybody else will, but <laughs> I know what I'm chatting on about. 
Anyway, right, I'm gonna move on, see if I can find another image. So I didn't actually realise, just by moving my tripod ever so slightly, I had these two right under my feet. And that has actually turned out using the rule of thirds. So basically we got the last line of the lake across that third. We've got the foreground across this third, and then the background and obviously the top of the mountains across the top there. It actually turned out to be a nice image. Same settings as before. And there you have it. Beautiful. I am going to try and lighten that, darken that a bit. Too much glare. I'm going to muck about a bit with some settings and have a look at a couple of them. See what I can come up with. Crazy, crazy. I don't know how high up we are. The mirrors have popped and everything, so I know we're pretty high up. <sighs> Looking at it, we're probably between half and three quarters of the way. It's mental, but what a view. What a view. All right, see you in a bit. Hopefully, see you at the top. Just wow, we're clearing a little bit. Now we're still right up in the clouds, about four and a half miles up. We're very close to the summit now, we can actually see it. So uh, yeah, we're gonna march on and get out there. Hopefully it's clear when we get out there. But wow, what a, what a view. What a view and that dirty big rain clouds on its way over here. <laughs> Alright, catch you in a bit, Muckers. Wow, that is bloody freezing. We've just been engulfed by a cloud. We're near the top now. Visibility is gone. The weather is just, well, yeah, visibility is down to, well, next to nothing now. The weather is just crazy. <laughs> One minute you're sweating your nuts off. You're taking layers off, and the next minute you're piling it on because it's Baltic. It's crazy. But whew, what a day. We can see the top. We can see the top. Well, we could before the clouds started engulfing us. So, hey, we'll see when we get there. I'm going to be putting a woolly hat and a scarf on in a minute. I think it's freaking freezing. Right, catch you in a bit. All right, quick rest stop. It's fucking freezing. It'll put me out of scarf on in a minute. <laughs> but quick rest up. Uh, we're, we're near the top. The clouds have engulfed us, so you can see we Wow. We can't see nothing. So um, yeah, but quick rest up, quick bite to eat, get some energy back. Ten minutes away. And then get back up there. So happy days. Right, catch you in a bit when we get to the top, hopefully. Our current view. Ugh. Nice and grey in the middle of a freezing cold cloud. <laughs> I ain't sure if you'll hear us. The wind is blowing an absolute hooli up here. Hello, guys. We made it. <laughs> We're on the summit. <sighs> what a day. <sighs> oh, we made it. <laughs> and look at that view. Wow. It's two o'clock. Shane's got the inches. <laughs> 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 
Markers. Yeah. We did have a bit of a clearing, it's alright, I've got some good photos. Um but we're getting we're freezing. We're gonna make our way down yeah, now. I don't yeah. know if you can hear us, the wind is atrocious up here. It's cold. It's awful. So um yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head back down now. Just over four and a half miles back down. It's starting to get dark. We've got some taut like headlamps and that, but we don't need them just yet. But yeah, that's it. Um, there we are, muggers. There we are, muggers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Well, from the top of Snowdown here, I'm going to say <laughs> thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. You thank you for your support. And if this doesn't earn a subscription, I don't know what will. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Next week, it'll be fish related, yeah? <laughs> Catch you later, Marcus. Cheers.